So far in this series, we've looked at ways to retrieve information from a server using a GraphQL query. In this video, we'll update our API so that we're requesting data is created or updated using a mutation. Let's begin with the GraphQL API schema. Within the schema block, we find a line that says mutation colon mutation by default. If it's not there, go ahead and add it. This tells the schema that we're going to be using mutations. Next, we'll create a type mutation block if it doesn't already exist. Like the type query block, we'll add our functions. In this case, we'll create one named update case. We'll provide some inputs like a mandatory ID, optional state, and comments, and it returns an optional case object. Uh, since the case type is already defined, we don't need to do any further modifications to the schema, so we'll save and create a new resolver named update case. The script first gets the value of the ID, state, and comments. Then it retrieves the case record, and if the state or comments are set, it applies those to the record and does an update. We'll submit that. And of course, the resolver doesn't do any good without a resolver mapping. So we'll go to the related list and create a new record, mapping our mutation colon update case to the resolver update case and submit. Now, let's navigate to the Misty Mountain app and open case 1003. Looks like Bomber has a leaky barrel. We'll test our mutation with a query like this. and add variable values indicating that a new barrel has been ordered. And when we run the query and go back to the case record, we see the comments have been updated. Mutations are pretty simple to construct and a great way to create or update records on the system as part of your GraphQL API. 